I need to shave. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Jeremy needs Jeremy. to shave. <laughs> mm -hmm. For YouTube reference, Henry never tells us when he's going to start these. I don't. Ever. He just does. I like to live dangerous. It's going to really backfire one day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next one I run. I'm not telling you. <laughs> uh, I think you're doing the finale, aren't you? Uh, I think it's my choice. So, yeah, I can do. I don't remember. Also, I thought of an amazing one for next season. Amazing episode. I've already I done do. my picks for next season. I don't even know if ours is on the... The one I'm thinking of is on the list. All right. Well, as long as it fits the criteria, it can, it can go on there. I've done five. Long I've done four that I'd like to do and then a uh, fifth as a backup in case I change my mind about them. one of the other ones. Or one of us chooses. Or one of you guys choose it. But we've got we've of the millions we've got on there, I'd be amazed if that actually happened. <laughs> Let me press the record armed button. Hello Ha that's too loud. <laughs> ah! I need to learn to enunciate more. I'm practicing at work, doing the tannoys. <laughs> good close. evening. How may I serve you I tonight? Do. I've been going, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the time is now 10 p.m. <laughs> Welcome. We're now closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got told to do an Irish one once. Of course, <laughs> nerves kicked in, so I couldn't do my Irish accent. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was my old Irish accent, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to this place of business, man. It's going to re it's it's gonna confuse everyone, everyone who doesn't know that story, and I'm not going to tell anyone. Inside so. joke. Got to be in it to win it, people. Indeed. Mm. Are you Are you oh. ready? Ready. Oh uh, no, give me two seconds. I thought uh, I tried what we I... hang on. I'm ready. <laughs> I tried a new format today with my notes. I tried to write it out more coherently. That's a word, yeah. It would come across more coherently when you read it. Okay. Actually. Coherence is Oh no, but it's not supposed to be coherent, it's supposed to be stream of consciousness kind of deal. That's better. Yeah. At least this way, someone reading it could read it <laughs> in a sense that it has. you can read it without context. Oh, but it's better without context. You don't context. need to watch the show at the same time. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> right, let's get that out now. I'm drinking a fizzy drink. That needs to not happen. I already did a preemptive wee before the show. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I and guarantee... I'm drinking coffee and water. We're going to be right in the middle of it, and my delivery's going to arrive. Mm-hmm. We should mention, it's uh, Jenny's birthday. Hey, happy birthday hey, to hey, you. To you. Happy. Quick fire, what is a cartoon that came out? Or a kid's show that came out on your birthday. I'm going to... I have no idea. <laughs> uh, most popular children's television show on the date, which we won't tell anyone. Because <laughs> they don't know when we're recording I'm not going to tell anyone. It's a... BBC no, don't. One, you, you, can't even, you can't even tell them because then they can go look it up. What was the most popular show? And then they'll steal her identity. I can tell you guys, though. I can this, tell this you is exactly being this what is being recorded. shows that we're on. <laughs> this is, well, is, is going to be on YouTube, Jeremy. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not going to say it now. I'm just like, I'm, it can tell you exactly what shows were being broadcast in BBC One on that day. <laughs> right, I'm ready. <laughs> and that's pretty amazing. Oh, one, where did two, I do that? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hi. One, two, one, two. Okay, I'm just checking I'm using the right mic for Discord. Yay! <laughs> That's all three of us have belched now. <laughs> yeah? Uh, yes, you did. I think. No. I'm just... Oh, it's man. natural. Ugh, hanging out with you. <laughs> no one? You know no one can see that on the camera, right? Oh, 
No, but I can. It's so bright. You're just you have flawless skin. It does look you... like you're you're made of pure white on your camera right now. Yeah, it's because yeah, I'm sitting directly under the light, and it's still, and it's still sunny outside. Right. Oh, should I start my recording? Oh. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right before we were about to the start. Sorry, my, my internet's going a bit funny. There we go. Well, I haven't even started recording my audio yet, so. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Okay. Can I go? I can, can start I, now. I can start now. One, two, one, two. Hello. Talk to me, Jennifer. Hello, darkness, Hello. my old friend. Yep, okay. We're good. I don't have any Bob. friends. We Do we know. need? To, are we going to bother clapping this time? Do, is it worth it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What are we clapping on? Yeah, actually, wait. Oh no, I've broken everything. <laughs> Just use that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, sorted. Okay. Clapping on what? Three, two, one. Yeah. I'm not counting. Right. So when I say one, we clap. Okay. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> it takes a while. I had to clap to before Brighton. you. I Jim. had to clap before you. And you still clap otherwise... like an hour before me. <laughs> <laughs> you look really? like a white boy chasing wow. the beat. <laughs> That's an old joke. <laughs> it's a very old joke. <laughs> Henry's old. I'm old. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's almost like someone's the same age as me now. <laughs> <laughs> Only for about 26 minutes. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah, but, yeah, but... <clears throat> you're all you're that age all the way through, whereas I'm not. I'm just my body is that age. Whatever. <clears throat> my spirit is nowhere near that age. Well, apart from the ten-year-old boy that's trapped in your head. <laughs> Shh, we don't talk about him. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. okay right um okay i'm ready are you ready let's go yeah i thought we already crapped crapped <laughs> all right here all right. we go three two one it's gonna be a good episode yeah and i've even been drinking For serial viewing. Welcome, my friends, to another episode. We are watching The Flower Pot Men, Bill and Ben from 1952, the oldest thing we've ever done. Hello, Jeremy. This is the oldest thing we've ever it done. It is easily the oldest thing we've ever done. <laughs> a good decade or more. Hello, Jennifer. We did. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of that today, isn't it? I can tell. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Bill and Ben, <laughs> simply known as the Flowerpot Men, ran for 26 episodes across a single series from 1952 to 1953. Uh, the Flowerpot Men were the story of Bill and Ben, two little men made of flowerpots who lived at the bottom of an English suburban garden. We watched, unusually for us, episode 26, Flying Boots, which is the last episode in the series. Um... Just look it up, Bill and Ben, Flowerpot Men, uh, Flying Boots. You'll find it. It's on YouTube if you'd like to keep up with us. Uh, and in is this it? episode, it is. Where did you watch Sorry. it? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, is it the last episode in the series? It's the last episode in the original series, yes. Oh, I have. <laughs> yeah, that, that was their character okay. development. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, this episode was first shown on the 10th of June, 1953. Ancient. How old were you, Henry? Oh, I was at least 16. <laughs> <laughs> it does amaze me because, as I was working out earlier, less than 10% of the population had a TV. <laughs> wow. Like, who is watching this? 
uh, the rich 10%. Yeah, because, <laughs> because grand, my dad, in 19, he would have been, when this aired in March 1953, he would have only been two and a half, not quite three, and he didn't have a TV then. Yeah. So, which would have, he would have been perfect audience for this as a three year old. Yep. But he didn't have a TV then. Well, I think this. I don't know actually, because they um this was originally aired as part of uh, BBC Television's Watch with Mother. Yeah. Yep. Which featured a different program each weekday, most of them involving string puppets. This was shown as part of that. Um, I almost, for some reason, immediately went, "Well, this would have been a radio show as well," but it's a puppet show, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't no, know. I was thinking, is this is this old enough to have been shown in the cinema? <laughs> no, no, they would no, no, they wouldn't have sent this. BBC wouldn't have allowed things like that. <laughs> Crash hey, commercialisation to, to the cinema. <laughs> they did the news, didn't they, in the cinema? I don't think they put TV on the cinema. I don't know. Don't know. Well, this is before the coronation. The coronation was in June that year, so. Bloody hell. And Dad remembers going to his next door neighbours and watching the coronation. Now he would not have been three. On their seven inch TV set. On their TV, yeah. <laughs> seven um, inch. So I'll recap the, the plot really quickly because it won't take long. <laughs> uh, the, far, the gardener leaves a pair of boots at the bottom of the garden which turn, about, turn, out, turn out to be possessed. And Bill and Ben yeah. play with them. <laughs> there you go. That, that's the entire. That's the entire plot. What is it with these these mid nineteenth twentieth uh, uh, century uh, programs, kids shows, sort of like just pushing for Satanism? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we've got demon infused flower pots, um, <laughs> possessed mm-hmm. boots, and possessed flowers, and a weed. That could be a sunflower, could be a dandelion, that obviously is on drugs. <laughs> Did you see its eyes? That thing is a stoner. They're all on drugs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the singing flowers. They were all on drugs as well. Well, I, I've put here, uh, what is it with kids TV being being home to weird shit? <laughs> Cause and then I put also kids tv having characters that don't speak english or any recognizable language because ev- it wasn't even in the 50s right up i mean n- now i mean the, you had the teletubbies what 20 years ago <laughs> and then you had oh what was them dancing weird things that um, dancing weird things dancing they did in the night garden it's yoga oh i, I quite like no that. idea yeah but you wouldn't <laughs> No, it was, no, it was when, when what's his name? The youngest. When we had when we had a young person in the house. <laughs> the boy uh, but in the little. night garden as well. That would keep, that's still in the going. night garden. Yeah. yeah. Not, no, no, I will not hear a wrong word against the in the night garden. <laughs> There's nothing wrong I know with you them. Like it. <laughs> and I know that they're supposed to be simple and they're supposed to be lots of fast movement. I was going to say lots of color, but this is obviously not in color. But <laughs> oh yeah, this is black and white. I should say that Early this days. is our first black and white. Mm. Uh, show we've watched. Yeah, that was before before the world got Technicolor. Well, the language that the flower flower pot men speak is called Oddle Poddle, which Mm -hmm. was invented by a voice artist called Peter Hawkins, who provided speech for the Daleks, (laughs) the original Daleks, yeah, and Captain Pugwash. Um, So... uh, So, at the end of every episode, they would say to Little Weed... Babap Ickleweed, which was goodbye. Uh, it was yes, heavily, heavily criticised for hindering children from learning proper English. It was a bit of a controversy at the time, just like the Teletubbies did. <laughs> yes. There's, there's, there was loads knew, of them, but yeah. I knew it was his own language, or like he did made some, some form of language from it. Mm-hmm. Did anyone mm. else... as? All right, this is the first time I've watched this since I, don't know, I was tiny. I knew it existed, but that's it. But by the time I got to the towards the end of the episode, I knew what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I had figured it out. <laughs> mm. Mm. I knew 
I knew what they were saying. I knew what they were getting at. It's like at the beginning when she's trying to wake them up. I'm telling that I can tell that they're telling her to fuck off and that they want to go back to sleep. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I get what they're saying. It's but I am an adult. I'm not a two year old that's watching this yeah. and who's learning languages. So he's yeah. the narrator is uh describing the scene. So there's the plant pots with the sorry, there's the seeds and there's the boots and there's two plant pots and in between there's a weed. I read a note, bullshit, that's a triffid. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a face. It's got a face. <laughs> It's high. it's high. It's got, even though it's in black and white, you can tell it's got pink bloodshot eyes. <laughs> um, so we we've missed the credits already. So let's 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 talk about the credits first. Was anyone else mm-hmm. terrified of that house? Oh yeah, it's scary. That, that gave me <laughs> baby son from Teletubbies vibes. Oh, I'm going to see know. that house in my nightmares. <laughs> so like, that had de- that had evil eyes as well. Yeah, it was all in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so go on. Then. What, oh, I, what did, you, I don't know. What did you think of the theme music? Well, I wrote down. It sounds all of the all of it, the whole thing, um, the whole of the uh, the intro and the outro and the sounds and the way it was saying Bill and Ben. It just said it sounds like a mix between haunting horror and satirical Monty Python, um, <laughs> and it kind of looks like it too. <laughs> well, yeah, because I suppose... it kind of looked like the intro to Flying Circus. I suppose this is what they would have been parodying. Uh, well, yeah, from fifty in, in a way, to... yeah, early fifties. I actually found it all right. It was obvious that they were recording this in a studio. You can hear. Yeah. And that's what I found interesting. You can actually hear mm-hmm. the studio space around them. So mm-hmm. when uh, the narrator is talking, you can hear her. You, you, I can tell the room she's in. I can see it. I can see the room she's in and she's talking. And she's probably talking. It's probably recorded live. So as the puppeteer is moving things, she is watching. She's standing there with her script, reading it, which I actually found quite interesting. And near the end, you can hear where they've they've cut some of it or where they've, they've spliced in some more some different takes and you can hear the difference in reverb that comes from her voice i didn't get it's that, like more but I present there was like a tiny bit at the end and she said it was like the last line and it was just like like you know uh good night or something like that and it was um it was a lot louder right. and it was a lot more reverberated i mean when they when he sings the opening credits because there's a chap singing the credits he's he sounded like he was sat in a bathroom yeah. stall it was quite yeah. echoey yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> So, the characters, if you can call that, were devised by two women called Frida Lindstrom and Maria Bird uh, in the very early 1950s. Uh, Maria Bird actually narrated all 26 episodes. So that's her. That's one of the um, designers. But, and this is what I, I noticed this straight away. If you go onto IMDb, in the trivia, this is credited to someone called Hilda Brabham. Okay. Now, Hilda Brabham created mm. another set of characters called Bill and Ben, who were not Flower Point men, oh. had nothing to do with this, but she um, had sold the she'd sold the stories to BBC, and they had been used in Watch with Mother. So there was somebody somewhere has got that wrong, but also, uh, so let me get this right. Uh, buh, buh, buh. So in uh, BBC in-house magazines, it was incorrectly attributed to Hilda Brabham. Uh, QI, wow, got it wrong. <laughs> they attributed this to Hilda oh. Brabham. Yep. Um, and the Independent, the newspaper, also published or attributed this to Hilda Brabham. <laughs> All three sources including qi put out a correction later on saying actually we we understand this was not hillram this was uh lingstrom and bird um so blah, 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 blah. both programs so the original were by hilda brabham which had nothing to do with this show and mirror birds were produced by frieda lingstrom so there's the connection between the two um Later in her life, Hilda Braven had suffered a stroke 
and maintained vociferously that she did actually invent the characters used in this series. Hmm. Which then caused BBC lawyers, no, sorry, Lingstrom's lawyers, to come tearing out of the woodwork, (laughs) threatening all sorts of litigation if she appeared on television or any other media to propagate that claim. (laughs) So even, even back in the 50s, people were arguing about who created what. Wow. I mean, like, props to Henry and Serial Viewing for, like, giving up the right amount of sourced information. You know? <laughs> this is where you come for the correct facts. And oh, the, yeah. Uh, the... We're, we're, we're <laughs> well known for our factual accuracy. <laughs> A propagated news source. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. You know, like, I think because television was so brand new, I mean, sorry, uh, popular television was so brand new at the time that the something like this probably had never happened before i mean when did you say the dispute actually happened was it like straight away when the show was being broadcast no actually um it was all it was all like tens of years after the event people just started Mm -hmm. incorrectly attributing the show to brabham weird yeah like a mandela effect yeah and then later in her life before she passed away (laughs) Brabban mm. herself then started claiming, "Yep, that was yeah. me." <laughs> and then all kinds Intense of lawyers, Mandela all, effect, all kinds of lawyers went, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. no, 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 no," <laughs> and jumped all over it. Yeah. Wow. That is a strange occurrence of events. Yes. Um, apart from so, apart from Bill and Ben and. There were only two other characters that I could find in the original. Um, Slowcoach. Can anyone guess what kind of animal Slowcoach is? Is he a snail or a slug? No. Oh, tortoise! tortoise. (laughs) (laughs) The answer to that question is no. (laughs) Yes, he's a tortoise. (laughs) And and I'm really intrigued about this for some reason. He only appeared in one episode... Uh, the three of them meet a faintly mysterious character made out of potatoes. Dan the Potato Man! <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Dan. Dan! Dan the Potato Dan. Man, to give him his full name. I wonder why Say was he one mysterious? episode. Yeah. Oh. The Potato Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> um... One of the things I wanted to... So, all right, so this is the the nascent days of children's television. This is early, early stuff. Like, really early. In fact, possibly the first mm. in the UK, at least. When was Howdy Doody? Uh, to please. the internet! Oh, yeah. I'll, do it. <laughs> I'll carry on talking. Uh, so, all right, so this yep. was very early in children's television. Okay, so we've already established that the budget for children's television in the early days wasn't great. But craftsmanship yeah. being what it was, do you think they could have done a better job with the puppets? Uh, I don't know. Looking oh, at Howdy right. Doody, I think I prefer much prefer Bill and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy Doody came out in 1947, so oh right, there you it's go. Just slightly, slightly older. Howdy Doody is proper terrifying, uh, nightmare inducing. Yes, <laughs> but do you, mm-hmm. what do you reckon? I mean, I. I was watching it, and I was th- with the the bend the strings. You could, you could, all right. I, I get it's a puppet show, and you're going to get the strings, but I don't know. It just something that's in- intrigued me about this sort of thing because the same you can see a natural progression for craftsman work when it comes to television and entertainment, and it's it's a curious phenomenon, I guess that it it's it's easy enough to view the changes, like you said, like flowerpot men and and howdy doody then compare it to say thunderbirds which came out in the 60s but then compare it to something like uh like the muppets which came out even later right 70s yep 70s Mm -hmm. and then you compare it to something nowadays uh that's like puppets the hardman i don't know it was say like the um, murder yeah or the dark crystal they did (laughs) yes yeah yep dark Dark crystal Um, remake like they're still muppets or they're still puppets and they're still all the same technology and the craftsmanship it's not in in all intents and purposes puppets have been around for ages it shouldn't have gotten better 
I think what's happened is they just they've people value television more, and so as it's gone on, they've sunk more money into making the puppets. And it's interesting to see that you can see how the impact of television changes as time goes on to warrant the better making of yeah. these yeah, puppets. Become, becomes... Even though, like in the beginning, they probably could have made something as good as like the Dark Crystal style stuff, but they were just like, eh, it's it's this new fandangled technology that we're just going to make <laughs> for a kids show. We don't, you know, it's a puppet on a string. Because well, that's... that's... it does look like the traditional marionette style thing well, that's, and that's what they are that's the original yeah. one thunderbirds was an original were, were marionettes but you're you're then comparing it to jim henson um and mm. they're they're a different level of puppet they're not just string or somebody's hand oh well kermit is but they've got little robots in them and they've yeah, got that's what i mean they're the multi-million like grew and broadened yeah. um because the impact of television was more like mm -hmm. I, I'm sure like Jim Henson would still have contributed to puppetry, but like when it comes to like even if he hadn't been on television, but I still reckon that the the impact that television had, and you can see it correlates with like the growing impact of television plus the uh, I don't know care and attention that in detail that goes into well, these puppets. The more it's quite interesting. The more money that television can generate, either mm. through the commercial like uh, adverts and stuff, or do syndications where they can sell it on to other things, the more effort they're going to make. Yeah, definitely. So, so the bigger the bigger the industry gets, the bigger the productions. Does that make sense? And obviously, like stuff like productions have left legacies, um, and I think. Like you could just look at, I think the new Bill and Ben, which I'm sure we'll get onto, oh, well, stop that's motion. Where, that's where we're going next. But yes. um, I'm just trying to think. Um, anyway, I, I've rambled on, but it's cool. <laughs> it's interesting to see. You've got, and the I'm, audience has changed as well. So yeah. the audience that was looking at this in 1953 wouldn't actually. You, you they've actually got small children who are not used to seeing things alive on the TV. Yeah. Um, so they they would have had to have shoehorned that in and eased them into it. I mean, can you imagine in 1953 showing four-year-olds Teletubbies or anything that's on now? Like you say, a 3D version. They're like, their little minds are going to explode out of their heads. My eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's as well like certain shows such as The Muppets and Dark Crystal they have such long lasting legacies so as to increase the amount of profitability that would be made off of them as well so yeah, a lot of it just all makes sense you know like when you first start out with a project nobody's going to give you more budget than say a product a, something safer I would also imagine that the BBC, I have no proof of this, but the BBC in the 50s was probably a very, very serious, very sensible organisation run by very serious, sensible men. Uh, yes, we uh, we should do something for children. Yes, uh, here's uh, a pound. Off you go. Make something brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bear, bear in mind, the pound is a lot. Do a, a puppet lot. show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are kids like? Kids <laughs> like puppets. Brilliant. There you go. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to... Sp I mean... I mean even today even today they don't spend huge amounts on kids tv which is why they can that's why they churn it out quickly and you end up with 500 episodes of i don't know some cartoon so 26 episodes in the original series and i can't imagine it took very long to come up with the plot for 26 episodes no if they were all as rich and in in well all of them, is this one all of the episodes follow the same structure uh, so the the two would have a minor adventure. A slight mishap would occur. One of them would take the blame, then confess, and they'll go to bed. <laughs> and that's it. That's for all twenty six episodes. I don't know, but I can't talk for the remake. But all twenty six episodes were exactly the same. Take the blame. Yep. So in this one, or well, it's not even that. Well, yeah, who won? Right. So who crashed? Who won? Blah, blah blah blah. Yep, that was me. Was it? Was it Bill? Was it Ben? It was. I don't know. Yeah, one of them. 
No, I'm gonna lie, I kind of zoned out a little bit then. It was Ben, because that's when the song ended. It... Was it Bill? Was it Ben? This is the song on blah blah blah. I did write, was this song the baby shark of its time? <laughs> yeah. when, they, when they were dancing because they're, like, oh, they're all so happy they all have a dance and the boots and the, the platform they're all having a dance and just, there were kids like going into school the next day humming that tune <laughs> <laughs> or just yeah, showing off because my dad's got a TV and you don't yeah, peasant and the parents are just like <laughs> shut up <Yeah>. please <laughs> <laughs> um, what I don't get is is how because I thought this was like the first episode or one of the early ones, and it was introducing Bill and Ben. Because, like, I don't think the narrator she didn't say Bill and Ben until like the very end when she said that Ben won, you know. And like, I don't apart from the fact that it was written on their backs, like, and I imagined it was for like a, a two year old. There was like no mention of Bill and Ben throughout the entire episode, and then she was just like, oh, the flower pot man, oh, the one on the left, oh, the one on the right. <laughs> like, this one, like, the the low one and the high one. Um, I can't remember how she specifically referenced high. to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Yeah, it, it's... It seems a bit strange. Their names are mentioned in the opening song. Oh, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> like, well, yeah, no, but you're right. That's you're just They're just a ship. There you go. Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Well, one yeah. of them's real, one of them's Ben. You figure it out. Well done, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, the original twenty-six episode, twenty-six episodes were repeatedly shown on the BBC right the way through to the seventies. Wow. So this was a, this was very very popular. Mm. Um. I'm surprised it took till two thousand and one to be rebooted. Uh, yes. Yep. So, fourth of January two thousand one, um, renamed just to Bill and Ben, uh, aired on CBBC on BBC Two. Um, as you said earlier, stop motion animation in thirty five mm millimeter film, uh, full color, made by Cosgrow Hall Films with a team of ten animators, which is a huge increase from the one puppeteer and one narrator. <laughs> <laughs> um, it added a bunch of different characters, including Rose, a mean female rosebush, a male hedgehog called Boo, and a talking tomato called Ketchup. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. The reboot ran for 52 episodes across two series, and I can only imagine it wasn't as popular. Talking tomato called Ketchup. What else would you that's, call that's it? That's insulting. What else would you know? It's a perfect <laughs> name. <laughs> Hi, oh, corpse. The, it likes calling a well, yeah. It's like calling a person like long pork. Yeah, <laughs> sausage. <laughs> uh, I've called people sausage in my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, I watched it. You watched? Did you? Do you? Remember, I did. Do you remember the? Well, I remember that one. I remember it more than this one. So you would have been three, three, four. Yeah, when this came out. Yeah. God, I'm young. <laughs> Give us your experiences, Jeremy. Tell <laughs> tell us about it. It never even occurred to me I that you would have don't watched the reboot. Remember much? Yeah, no, I watched the reboot. I I thought it was puppets. I didn't realize it was that. And it's weird because I feel like I did watch the really old one as well at the same time. Um, like I'd seen both. Uh, but I I don't know because I remember blending. I remember the theme song from this one more than the one in the original. But I do remember the Flowerpot Men knowing more characters in the uh, in the garden and having yeah. more than just a narrator as the voice and it being a lot more colourful. <laughs> Instead of black and white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was all right. I mean... Did you find... Again, it was very similar to this. Now, when I was very, very young, we had a black and white TV. So this, up until I was, what, 12? TV was in black and white. It was just that's what it was. <laughs> it never occurred to me. Um, did you find the fact that this was in black and white in any way jarring? Did was it really noticeable, or did you just kind of accept it for what it is? You're asking me specifically. Cause I'm, I'm asking you specifically, but either of you really. <laughs> yeah. Not really. I didn't. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't really make any difference to me. I'm sure if I was a three-year-old, all the pretty colours would have made a difference, mm. but. It was black and white. What I picked up more on was, and it might just because, be because of 
uh, my hobbies and the fact that I listen to a lot of things is the uh, the audio quality, and not necessarily like where it was recorded. Hmm. The uh, like the constant sounds of it almost sounding like it was being played on a record. Yep. Like the the lo-fi. So the scratch um, almost element of it, yeah. There was constant like background hum and noise, and I noticed that way more. And obviously, like the flickering in the um, the camera, I thought it was kind of cool. It was like <laughs> a re- like it, you know, what we're used to now as it being retro. So it's, well, it, it was literally retro. <laughs> yeah, it was of the time. It's cool. Well, I did start looking up. Um like related media books board games mm. puzzles that kind of thing and then i got bored because it was just an unending list yeah. of <laughs> books and annuals and jigsaws and so it's all out there um, they were releasing <laughs> board games for bill and ben up until the original uh, black and white one up until the 90s Wow. I found I found one from the I think it was the late nineties, which is before the the reboot even existed. <laughs> and I had a quick wait. Cons- waiting. Sorry. Um. How long did the reboot last for? How long did the what? Sorry. Reboot last for two seasons. I don't know how long. Oh, so just like two years. Uh, I assume so. I didn't get dates on that one. Wow. Yeah, it's two years. Two years. Thank you. I mean, they showed it on CBBS and up until two thousand and eight. And they were shorter than the original. The originals were all about fifteen minutes in length, but the reboot were mm. ten minutes in length. Oh well, wow. we get those ads in there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was on CBBS. CBBS. There wouldn't have been any adverts. Uh they always advertise. They've always got. They're, yeah, they're they doing. they're adver- internal advertising. <laughs> Yeah, and for the, and you would have got a lot more. You wouldn't have just had a narrator between the uh, between shows as yeah. you'd back in the fifties. And now for the news, that was Bill and yeah. Ben. You would have you've got uh, people in colourful jumpsuits with over enthusiastic grins talking at the kids. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> who, who used to do it? Who didn't? I don't know. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Any British celebrity? Yeah, they were all. So many British celebrities started on children's television. Oh, who was our favourite though? There was um Holly Willoughby. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, she did do that, didn't she? She oh. was on ITV anyway. No, no CBBS. Didn't Danny, um, did Danny John Jules do it at some point? No. No, he did a TV series where he was a storybook reader. Yeah, the story, story making. Story, te- story, no, storyteller. He's in a yeah. library. Yeah. He was another one. See, he had puppets in that. I watched that. <laughs> yeah, we like that one. Um, story makers. Um, oh my God. Story makers, there you go. Um, they would have been 10 minutes as well because the attention span of little little ones. Yeah, it's I mean, honestly, I was watching this and my attention span waged, waged, wavered. So. Yeah, that might be because... Although, one of my notes I did write down quite early. Oh, when they were getting up, when Weed was trying to wake them up and they were trying to get out of their pots. It, and they were telling her to fuck off. Yeah, it felt like about <laughs> it, in a fifteen-minute show. It felt like it took an hour. <laughs> yes, it did. I was and, like, I, it was halfway through, and I was like, oh my god, how long <laughs> is this show? Oh, uh, we're, st- uh, we're gonna dance, okay? Yeah, still dancing, <laughs> and yeah. we're still dancing. This is wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, they really they kind of padded, uh, but. Yes, they padded the time. So here's a little bit of yeah. them dancing. Here's them like looking in the boot. The boots could fly, by the way. Um, yeah. And I think that is that is us looking at it in today's eyes. Because back then, children would have just been excited that A, there's something on the television just for them. And B, it looks like that puppet show we saw that one time when we went to wherever. When we were at the seaside or we went to yeah. London. Yeah. So, something curious that I've, I've thought about would you know how kids these days, kids these days, kids don't these have days. Um, a long attention span? No, I don't. Because know. everything is, uh, well, there's so much like information, like regards to YouTube, and the shows are 
they're quick they're like, punchy they're like bow 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 oh, yeah stuff's happening but also like on youtube as well you have uh, everything on demand you have everything mm. everything's a lot quicker as well like you can watch a two minute program like and especially with like tiktoks and, and vines and things they're <laughs> all less than a minute long anything like that do you reckon that kids in when tv first began for children um in the 50s do you reckon they had less of attention span as well just because they weren't used to tv would you think it would be difficult for the parents to sit them down or do you think because it was a brand new thing they'd be enraptured by it i oh, yeah that. do you reckon like yeah. it's uh but, but no i think it just looks like a puppet show to them because yeah it's a tv like but to a two-year-old who's seen a puppet show it's just going to be the same thing but it's so a are they going to be like it's a puppet show yeah. in their living room yeah on the, that on the but... box that sits in the corner and it's it's the same i yeah no i don't think i think they would have been enraptured by it i think they would have come mm. they would all of their mates would have shown up at the house around that time mm. but, but if you teach kids today like you were and like that they have a long intention span it's only certain children and bad parents that have children with short attention spans <laughs> i think it's it's how the media is progressing I yeah, think yeah, it's I to make things yeah, yeah and because and more and more. it's been, it's been proved that our brains in. yeah our brain it's it's like, it's like school lessons. lessons they've stopped making them so long because it, even as an adult you learn in sound bites so as an adult you're told not to spend more than 20 minutes at your camera yeah. at your camera at your computer get up and walk away and then come back again it's because after 20 20 minutes your brain is stopped doing it or your eyes are or you know you're not there anymore and it's the same with children um but yes definitely the media has made it so um but it's also as well when people are looking at it they don't have hours to sit there looking at a tv show so if you make a one minute tiktok people can look at it and then and what's the one place that most people look at their phones it's in the toilet isn't it it's in the toilet or in the yeah. in the you know whatever so Not young of course, people, but yeah <laughs> but yeah but when they're at work or when they're at school they're in they go to the toilet they get five minutes well that's five tiktok videos or you know yeah. one youtube video but that's that's so just what you're saying reading the watch crack of attention, crap attention you know yeah <laughs> but i don't know i think but, it's all, yeah it, like it's all geared towards it and it's like no content and it's easily made and people hurt hunger for more and more different content it's, it, it's interesting how media is going that way so do you think this was a good representation of the early years for children's television? I think that's fairly typical. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember Andy Pandy. Ugh. Um, <laughs> oh, Muffin the Mule. Uh, I, I, even when I was young, I hated them. <laughs> I never really watched them because uh, they're. I wasn't born then. I remember Andy Pandy vaguely apparently i used to like it when i was little but i don't remember watching it um so i used to have some blue and white stripe trousers me too <laughs> oh look it's andy pandy i remember that joke um but yeah this is fairly typical of the mid early 50s for kids tv yeah i, I from my like little knowledge on the the subject i would assume that this is pretty safe for it you know like you know very safe very calming very we can make one kind of show so when i was looking for the episode for us to watch i actually went through three or four of the episodes on youtube and i was had a mm -hmm. had a quick look through the comments on each one and in nearly every single one you've got different people saying oh this brings back memories. I used to love this when I was young. Oh, the nostalgia. <laughs> oh, I used to, I used to love watching this. You'd go around our friend's house and watch this. And there was, there was an outpouring of love from the people who would have watched this, I suppose, up to the 70s. Hmm. So it was a, a cherished TV show. Yeah. I see that. I so, see why. On on that note, would you, Jeremy? Sure. 
<laughs> yes. As the as the younger member of the team, would you you're sat around uh, with your mates on a Saturday night drinking beer, channel surfing, and you come across this? Would you sit and watch it? <laughs> <laughs> um. Honestly, probably, and <laughs> not for that reason. We probably would because anybody not from this country we'd show it to anybody in this country would know it yep. and it would be like oh this is like this is bill and ben this is the flowerpot man you know everybody and it'd be funny to go back and watch it and then like take the piss out of it kind of like we did <laughs> <laughs> and be and be like oh i used to watch this all the time oh and then you, you just end up chatting for, throughout the whole thing and not actually watching it you, you just get... you it would just put it on you could get a good drinking game out of this so every mm. time weed says weed, or every time they mention some, they say someone's name, mm-hmm. you got a drink. Jennifer, would you recommend this to someone with young children? Mm, probably not. No, not exciting enough. No, no, no not really these young. days. Really, really, young. really yeah, young. still not these days. I mean, yeah, okay. Um, others have liked the new series of. Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted, Bill and Ben, <laughs> but um, nah, no, nah, probably not. Okay, so we'll leap from that right into giving our rating for the show. But so- wait, wait, before we do that, I want to ask you guys: When was your first encounter with the flower pot, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I swear to this, I don't remember ever watching this before. I knew, I knew, I knew who they were. If you show me, if you just show me a picture of the black and white ones, I would have gone, "Yes, Bill and Bell," and they live at the bottom of the garden with weed. Yeah, yeah. don't remember <laughs> ever watching this, ever. Yeah, I don't remember watching a whole episode remember... of the old version. You, yeah, you guys. The new, the, obviously. The one. Yeah. Don't remember yeah. The new one. <laughs> you would yeah. do. It's got. You're in a different oh, no, country. I, I but it might, was it Mark Addy that did the voice of that? I don't even know who that Sounds is. Sounds familiar. It's all right. Uh, yeah, wait, it was um no, I I <clears> looked <throat> it up because I actually watched a bit of the episode after the old one because I was like, what is the difference? I was curious about it again, so I I found out some information and I can't remember his name, but I think Henry, you weren't in the country when this happened <laughs> when this was on. Yeah, it was. Were you? Oh, do you mean the reboot? Two thousand one reboot. Yeah, yeah, I came back in two thousand one. Oh, I okay. came back to the UK in two thousand, but I wouldn't have had a child of an appropriate age no. to watch it then so no it completely missed me yeah I was probably like aware, I was probably aware that there was another choice. version but <laughs> no idea right uh, Jennifer I would like to give me a, give, I'd like you to give me a rating out of 10 for the flower pot men four a four why mm-hmm. four? That's... It only gets that because I know that a lot of people have fond rem- from that age who grew up with it have fond memories of it. Right. <laughs> but as a TV show goes, it's not particularly brilliant. Uh, well, I'm going to give it a three on the basis that Ooh. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. It was daft. It's too slow for modern sensibilities. Um, what I I say this a lot about a lot of these shows, but what I did enjoy of it was probably for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> like, <laughs> that he's high, they're on acid. Um, uh, so I gave it a three <laughs> because again for the same reason, I think you could show this to a very young child or a very very young child, and I think they'd enjoy it. It's got nice gentle sounds. You've got a nice motherly matronly voice. So it's... it was that same void that like trapdoor does. So it, like really young toddlers you just stick it on yeah. and they're not even paying attention but it's not objectively bad so I don't want to mark it any lower because it's not bad no. it's just no. it is what it is it is of its time yeah. yeah so a three from me Jeremy yeah yeah that's why it's a little harsh to like rate it um oh well, it's a little difficult to rate it because it's it is. it's just so obviously not from now <laughs> by everything about it I think it's kind of cool to go back and it's like a time capsule because it's been a long time since that and like the 50s 
is a long time ago. That's like 70 years ago now, mm. which is still weird to think. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I five point minus two. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> so four point eight. <laughs> four point three. You give it a four point three. Combine your two. Yeah. So you're going to go a bit higher than the rest of us. Yes. Okay, so that gives it a grand score of. I'm going to round it to the nearest. So three point eight. Mm. Three point eight for Bill and Ben the Flower Pot Men. As we said, it's not objectively bad, but it's not. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it is what it is. It's boring. Yep. Um. So every week we post, our, or every episode, sorry, we post our show notes uh, up onto the website, so you can go read our raw, unfiltered thoughts. Just go to the blog section on our website; they're all there. Um. And I picked my favourite for this week <laughs> uh, for Ulysses Thirty One for our last episode. Sorry, and it is uh, join me in, join in if you know the words. It's simply Ulysses, <laughs> <laughs> which I think was yours, Jerry. I think <laughs> we did. We not all write that, <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> I called yeah. my notes that you uh, No, I, I literally wrote like yeah, kept just putting a hold on the S. So be honest, did we all sing mm -hmm. it the day after we watched it and did the episode and we carried on singing it? Probably. We're still singing oh, it now. I suppose I was singing it as we were getting ready to do the show. <laughs> I'll I'll give some everybody a taster of my notes this week. I think that it's gonna be a good one. I think my favourite one I wrote I've written down whilst watching it was ah he's got a stick up his pottery. <laughs> uh, not not my very last uh, comment uh, was just uh, they are off their t tits on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made a lot of drug jokes. Um, so uh, join us next week for. <sighs> Is the net right next episode was my choice, and I did it because uh, oh, it had, Henry. it had to be done. <laughs> I remember what it is now. Yeah. Dog Tanyan. Oh, oh. Tanyan. Sorry, dot dot. No, no, no. In the original, it's dot Tanyan. In this, it's Dog Tanyan. <laughs> Which is why they're all dogs. Yes. So uh, uh, our next episode is Dog Tanyan. I'm really not looking forward to it. What? what? Dog Tanyan's great. I watched uh, so many episodes of that show, and I hated every minute of it. But it was that I I don't want to watch I don't want to watch what's on the other channel, and I can't be bothered to get off the. <laughs> I'm tired from school, so I'm going to lay here and I'm going to glare at the TV. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I had a little sister who absolutely loved it, so it was that or nothing. Well, I, so. I want... Have you ever seen it, Jeremy? No, just Good. heard it from you. Good. So <laughs> someone who hates it, someone who liked it, and someone who's never seen it, you're going to be the tiebreaker next week. <laughs> yep. It does help because I absolutely love that story. So the fact that it's in dogs, that's just brilliant. But that's the problem. I love the original story, but no one dies. No one gets stabbed. I want I want real... I want... Well, you can do it with dogs. I don't care. They could be parrots for all I care, but yeah, go on, get at it. The child's cartoon. Humbug. Yes, and I was a bloodthirsty little boy. <laughs> but we'll discuss this more on our next episode. So it's Dog Tanyan, so join I'm us curious. next time. Um, is it going to be an interesting Arthur uh, story or is it going to be a interesting version of Care Bears? It's, <laughs> is what I'm curious about. Which ones are going to be closer to? Uh, um, imagine, right, think real hard and picture hell in your wine. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to leave us... A gummage. Yeah, no, he's Satan. Or Satan's anus. Or Scrooge. <laughs> If you'd like to leave us a message, um, 
comments, uh, advice, suggestions about shows to watch, you can do so uh, on our Facebook page, our Instagram account. You can email us directly at serialviewing at gmail.com. Uh, there is a contact form on our website, or you can leave us a voicemail. Leave us a voicemail, people, and we will play you on the show. Exciting stuff. You could be part of serial viewing history, just like mm. our, our friend Pedro. Hello, Pedro. I don't think you're still listening, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, any last thoughts, guys? No. No. Didn't really gender a lot of excitement, this one. Watch this for the pot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, join us next time for Dortanian. Uh, we appreciate you joining us on the couch, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. It's my birthday. Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben. Flower pot men. Flower pot men. Flower pot men. done if i'm singing that tomorrow i'm going to punch myself in the face <laughs> sorry there wasn't much to go off with it to be fair that was perfect it is what it is right so yeah i'm going to stop my audio oh yes every time and stop excellent save hello and welcome to the after show right so guys there's a show hmm that I used to watch on Pop, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it called? Can we have, can we can we have slightly more. slightly more? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I missed the whole section of the uh, of my question. Um, it was about mice, right? Okay. But it was they were like it was brutal, and they were like fighting to the death. They had swords, and it was like a tale. I don't know if it was King Arthur or if it was Once like. Ones where they live in the church. Redwall. That's Not that's the red wool. Mice. Red wool. That's it. That one. That's it, yeah. This needs to go on the list. If it's if it's young, old enough. Is it red wool? I don't remember. I think I it's know, that. Yeah. I didn't know they'd made a TV show. But I mean, there's a great series. Of yeah, books. it was. Yeah. Boot I, I thought they were making a TV show about it. Oh yeah. Oh, 1999. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> That would have been so good. For this. Films. <laughs> I had no idea. Opera. <laughs> they made an opera. They made an opera. <laughs> I mean, they are good books. They are really good. Because yeah. video games too. Uh, I knew that one. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Not a TV show. Video game. But they did. They did make a TV show of it, and it was yeah. amazing because it was like legitimately. It was for kids, but it was, yeah, it was violent. Oh it yeah, was, the books are proper. There was death. Proper full apparently, of apparently, apparently, Netflix, Netflix just have just acquired the adaptation yes. rights for the novel series. Excellent. Wait, who has? Netflix. 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 Yeah. Game, for this series. Game of Thrones. Those Sorry, mice are up. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Oh, it's gonna be an animated event series based on the character Martin the Warrior. Yes. I might reread those. They were really good. Yeah. yeah. I might watch the show again. <laughs> I, was, I think I. I, I I think I was an older teen when I read it. Them, so it's all on YouTube, is it? <laughs> I yeah. I didn't the know. Animation's that, not, really not gonna lie. Great. I didn't know there was a TV show. But still... yeah, they made because they did the whole thing. I think they did it from like the young when they're young, and then when they get older as well. Uh, anyway, um, after show. After show. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, I didn't was... stick with my notes very closely. I didn't say many of them in this one. <laughs> my notes literally had five lines on it, and I said all of them. Oh, no, I've got quite a few. Well, I, wrote... I wrote more than I did for Triple M. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't write very much at all. 19. They must have the energy capacity of a Duracell rabbit's foot. Ha ha ha, Satan bless us with us. Blessed us with boots. We got to imagine, right? So in the fifties and sixties, they only had BBC Kids Hour. There was like they didn't spend 
because ITV didn't start until the 80s, in 1980, doing kids TV. So what did you do before then? Me personally? Yeah, well, yeah, because you're an ITV I, um, I played. I, I played with sticks. Stop <laughs> You're not a posh BBC girl like me. No, I'm a posh ITV <laughs> girl. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Some, I've watched, I'm sure I, well, I would have watched something. Oh, I used to watch Hanna-Barbera when I was really young. On what? On what? A TV. But there wasn't <laughs> any TV. Sh- it, it must have been in the... Eight, in, well, I'm, I'm talking about pre-80. Well, I don't, so, I, don't, I, don't, I probably didn't watch TV pre-80, pre-1980. <laughs> He you must have done. Film. You were spoiled. You would have had loads. Possibly. I don't... My earliest TV watching memory is watching Captain Caveman at the babysitters when my dad was at work. And I must have been... F- 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 four? Five? I was young. So... And that would have been... That was in colour, actually, so... Yeah. They had a colour TV. We didn't have a colour TV. <laughs> no, we well, our first TV we bought was a colour TV. Oh, I told a lie earlier. Uh, we got our colour TV. I think I must have been about eight when we got our first colour TV. Not 12. Uh, why, I don't know why I said 12. I had my own TV. I got my own colour TV by the time I was 12. Jesus. Talking about my arse. <laughs> um, I found that episode, Bill and Ben, really hard to rate. Yeah. And even for my card ratings, apart from one of them, I found it quite hard to because it's we're judging something that's seventy years old. Yeah. Yeah. Based on like, what we base it on today, how we personally feel. I mean, but then we're doing it a disservice because we can't well, we, we can't look at it in the same way as we do modern shows because yeah. it isn't. I don't know. I don't know. Let's yeah. well, tell, me tell me what I've got to do. Uh, you need to rate the theme tune. Uh, out, of the, out of a hundred, probably fifty-five. Whoa, fifty. Whoa, <laughs> don't make, don't make my woes change your mind. Fifty. <laughs> yeah, 50. yeah, fifty. It was a good, was a good little theme tune, sing-songy. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. Do, do, do. <laughs> no, I keep saying Bill and Ted. <laughs> Bill and Ben. Sorry, that might have been my fault from pre-show. Yeah. Um, which one? What, what theme song? The, the, oh, the theme, the opening credits, however you want to... Oh, like... Seven. I mean, the o- yeah, the overall theme of it was, <laughs> was, was quite cool. We lived at the bottom of the garden. There no, I mean, flower the, theme, the theme tune, not the theme of the show. Well, that is... You, you just uh, said theme the theme song... song. Not the theme of the show. The theme song, the opening credits. Come on, you, this is like the eighth episode you've done now. <laughs> yes, but you keep changing your mind. You said you'll say something and then you'll ch- change I'm it again. I'm going to go very opinionated on this one. So seven for the theme song because Ooh. it is terrible. The guy's not even singing in tune. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and it's, it's like they could have written something better. And then even for the updated one, because I watched a bit of it. It's the same thing, just in this really bad pop punk. Well, not even pop punk, just like like British pop, uh, British rock, sorry, style of the same thing. And it's equally as terrible. <laughs> I want to listen <laughs> just to it. Slightly better produced. Uh, I'm going to give it 100, and then I'm going to take away some points. Uh, I'm going to take away 85 points away because the <laughs> house haunts me. <laughs> So oh, that well, gives the it, whole opening intro. Yeah. So that gives it a 15 from me. So if I add our scores together to average out, that gives it a 24 for its theme. That's all your yes. fault, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> uh, now, this should be interesting. Uh, weirdness. Jeremy, rate weirdness. Not going off of how weird the puppets look, because I did write in my notes... Uh, uh, okay, they aren't as creepy as I remember, but I still wouldn't want to meet them in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they, 
the, it was more to do with the fact that I know it was the 50s, so there was definitely no connection to drugs, but there was definitely no. a connection to drugs. And <laughs> and, like, unintentional. So, uh, I'm going to go a bit higher and put 53. For weirdness. 53. That's quite weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, was quite, it was quite weird. Even for like a 50 show. What about you, Jennifer? Gonna give it forty five because I think it's really weird. Based on Wow. Well, they made out of flower pots. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. weed is alive and the Well the weed is alive. Weeds and plants are alive, but it's sentient. <laughs> what annoyed me about that weed a weird. Hmm. What annoyed me about that weed? was the fact that it spoke like wee, wee, and that's all the noise it made until it started singing and it was like oh, <laughs> and then immediately it was like wee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I've i wanted known, to rip it out i've known some people <laughs> to sing like that yeah people, people were really strong all right duck and then oh sing like an angel <laughs> yes uh, i gave it like i obviously I, thought this was weirder than the, the other two because i gave it a 55 because Dancing boots. Yeah, oh, that yes, was and the boots it. can fly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, so that gives it an overall weirdness rating of fifty-one. Thank you. Uh, education. Yes, educational value for this. Uh, I'll go first on this one. It got the score it got because uh, I don't know. It might get some kid interested in horticulture. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, can we can we go play at the bottom of the the garden, Dad? Oh, oh where's the flower pot? Uh, Eleven, and I, I think I'm stretching it a little bit there. <laughs> so I give it eleven, Jeremy. Um, this was before the wind scale fire, right? <laughs> for the what? The uh, nuclear accident in the UK. Ah, Jimmy Sellafield. Yeah, Sellafield, that's the one. Was it Sellafield? Um, maybe their house is uh, the one in Cumbria. <laughs> so you were saying this is uh, radioactive Based mutation? Based in Cumbria. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So don't, don't, don't plant your radioactive material into plant pots and uh, <laughs> let the weeds grow nearby. Or someone um, left their stash at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> That was another thing, is like, don't leave your drugs in plant pots either. Jeremy don't let your weed right. grow next to them. It is the wind scale fire in 1957. Oh, yeah, because I just looked it up. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's, it's the worst in the UK's one. history, and one of the worst in the world, ranked in severity of a level 5 out of a possible 7 on the nuclear event scale. I knew it was bad. I Well, I mean, obviously don't remember it, but... I remember hearing about well, it. YTS, 57, though. YTS lad forgot to do something. There's a very UK joke from a certain time frame that not many people <laughs> yeah. will get. Uh, YTS was the youth um, trainee scheme, which doesn't exist anymore, and you're basically teenagers who knew nothing and thrust them into jobs. Apprenticeship, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but like, it was usually, they were a bit more feckless, um, and the, the jokes were like, when the TV used to go off, stop signal, and it's because the YTS lad had tripped over the plug. <laughs> so anyhow um, score it. i'm rating the education in this show as a whopping the in- amazing amount of 11 hey same as me no wait, did, I, did you say 11 i did oh all of that just to get to the same yeah just to get to the same <laughs> jennifer <laughs> well, well disagree with it's gone thinking about it <laughs> education value don't sleep um, uh, because you get woken up by weeds. Well, well yeah. <laughs> it makes me. There's half of me wants to smoke weed, and the other half's <laughs> like, no, I don't want to smoke weed because that's what I'm going to see. I don't want to see that yeah. shit, man. <laughs> it's a bad trip, man. Stay away from drugs. I reckon 11. <laughs> 11. Hey. Oh, okay, so <laughs> and let's go through the motions. Let's do that and then divide that by that. Oh, look, it's 11. <laughs> for an education <laughs> at least we all agreed 
No, it annoys me when on, on kids' TV when they don't speak any language. It's it's a fake language, and they get away with it. Oh, excuse it's... me. Oddle poddle yeah. is a real language. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, wh- what what do you reckon an ickle kickle would be in oddle poddle? Ickle kickle. Ick- is it a little little tickle? No. 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 An ickle kickle. Um. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Salty pickle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's icicle. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh, so, cool. overall impact. Uh, cultural, personal, how awesome you thought it was, however you want to interpret that. Go, Jennifer. How? what? Oh, cultural. Well, <laughs> all the sentences I just said: cultural impact, <laughs> personal, however you, how awesome you thought, whatever, you, however you want to define impact. It's up to you. So, impact-wise, I don't think it's that massive, but it was one of the first kids' TV shows ever in the UK. So there is some impact. And if you teach, speak to anybody who was a kid in the 50s, they all remember Bill and Ben, mm-hmm. whether that's because it scared them shitless or whether they really liked it. <laughs> that's a good point. So impact-wise, it had quite an impact. Is this one out of 100 as well? Yeah, they're all out of 100. Okay, so I reckon 48. Wow. Jeremy. I am going to balance out the numbers and say 89. Ooh, 89 defend that I sir. know defend it. everybody I know that's from this country knows of Bill and Ben yeah and Jeez. they could probably sing the intro and they're probably also scared to get less of it <laughs> <laughs> and they know that it's in black and white as well or at least the very least they know the rerun of the show and it, it spawned one you know at least from me it spawned that one which I grew up with and like the like Henry said all of the the video game, not video games, the board games and the the, um, the the books, and the fact that it was an early show, like if if not one of the, if not the earliest, one of the earliest kids shows on British television, Fair and enough. just like six years after Howdy Doody came out, or five years after Howdy Doody came out, when I mean, that's like what the first kids show ever. Well, so it would, have been in would have been in America, yeah. Yeah, yeah in America, yeah. But in, in general. I'm going to take your very well thought out, uh, incredibly articulated arguments. I'm going <laughs> to shove I, it. I'm going to, no, no, no. I'm going to, I'm going to absorb them. I'm going to think about them and I'm going to shit out a 21. Uh, for the twin <laughs> 21. fact. 21. Yep. Because the fact that uh, you get a little bit of nostalgia in there. Yes, it was a forerunner of all children's television and. I, apart from the names, I couldn't have t- before this. I couldn't have told you anything about it whatsoever. So you get a twenty-one, and you like it. <laughs> so I'm going to drag those letters. <laughs> right. You know, because you've got a shit memory. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's okay. Henry wanted disagreement. I got. I, no, he's getting bonus points for nostalgia, because obviously people love it. I don't know why, <laughs> but they do. Um, so yeah, twenty-one, which gives it an overall rating of fifty-two, which isn't bad, mm. considering what it is. <laughs> it's, it's a show from the. 50s. I mean, it was wait, f- impact of fifty-two. Yeah. Hey, first transmitted in nineteen fifty-two. Hey. Look at that. And repeated regularly for more than twenty years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> more than twenty years. Well, there you go. That's, you, that's you get, a long time. I'll give it a point for every year that it's, it was on. <laughs> so twenty-one points. There you go. <laughs> That's all it's getting. Uh, So 52 in total. Uh, Yeah. Join us for the hellscape that is Doctonian. I'll get into... I've got got things to say (laughs) about why I don't like Doctonian. (laughs) I am curious. Jeremy, you would have had Sid and Chris Jarvis as your CBB's presenters. Do you remember Sid? Sid and Chris Jarvis. Sid sounds familiar. Sid, he was the um, coloured guy. He was like always really happy. He was on when Harry was. Or the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was on for a long time. 
One is a really cool number. <laughs> Need to do that, I think. And then Chris Jarvis was the. Um, he was on. He was like uh, Justin Fletcher of that time. He was on a lot of TV shows as well. Andy Day. Wait, what was I remember Andy Day. Andy Day's still Slime. doing it now. Andy Day's the longest running TV. He's managed to not really? take drugs, do a porn, do sex, anything. He's yep, never he's had sex. He's a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Andy Day. Andy Day. <laughs> Who's Andy Day? He was doing it when the youngest used to watch TV. He does like the dinosaur TV show and at the. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> the British Museum. Is Mr. Tumble still doing it. Justin Fletcher. Justin Fletcher. Yeah, he's yeah, he still Miss, does. Mr. British Children's Television. <laughs> yeah. Who bizarrely, For the last we're, 20 years. Who's bizarrely, we're probably never going to get to see. No, unless we expand, unless we eventually run out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the year 20. Every five years of serial viewing, we move it up five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Well, that was Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Thank you very much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we live and die on reviews, him. people, or in interactions. So, uh, if you'd like to leave us review, if you'd like to leave us a comment on this video, please do so. Um, if you'd like to leave us a review anywhere where you can review things, iTunes, uh, Podchaser is a good one. Uh, I remember Sid too. See, I won't beg on the uh, the actual podcast. So, but this is the after show, and you're we're buddies here. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, please leave us a review, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Interaction is great. Go leave us a message on Instagram, on Facebook. We would appreciate all you have to say, even if it's having a go at us. <laughs> please don't mm -hmm. have a go at us. Um, so unless any the other two have anything to say? No. no. Uh, okay. Silence. Stay away from drugs, kids, otherwise you'll become a flower pot man too. <laughs> I bet I'm doing that all day tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. You're welcome. You thank you, Henry. Bye. <laughs> Bye.